So I, this is interesting that they're trying. They're literally selling you the comics, and it's like, well, I mean, I I I, I like this that they're actually doing this, but it's like it's just going to show like how poor your product is because like these comics are going to be so much. Well, better. like it, 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 it's incredible to me that they put Flashpoint there because from all we've seen, there's only like two things from Flashpoint or like three that like carry over, which is Barry saves his mom and changes the universe, uh, teams up with a Batman, and the electric jumpstart his power thing. So you give people yeah. this comic and all of a sudden they go, what the hell am I doing? It's kind of like when Endgame and Infinity War were out and people were like, oh, read the uh, Infinity Gauntlet, read the Infinity Saga. And it's like, has nothing this to has do with nothing the to do with it. Movies. This is like yeah. Jim Starlin, cosmic Marvel going crazy. You know, here's death and, and all these metaphysical concepts and not yeah. just punch people. <laughs> so and it's not even the same the same batman right because in the comic uh, in flashpoint is is bruce's dad who's become yeah. batman and yeah. then at the end they they've got this very heartwarming you know uh, chat or whatever because he sends him the the letter right and well that's the whole bruce thing it's like barry's, it, right? barry's like now in this movie it's just going to be bruce giving advice to bruce oh you're right that sucks. <laughs> the the movie. oh you're right because yeah in in the comics it uh flashpoint ends with like Flash unsure if he should like erase everything, and Batman's like, "You do it, cause forget me. I want my son. Like, I want everything for my son back." And he gives him a letter that's basically like, "Bruce, I'm proud of whatever you've become from what Barry has told me." And Bruce like sheds a tear, but you can't do that from like Bruce to Bruce. It's right. it's gonna be like, what the weird? I don't know. My my own self is proud of me. <laughs> They've also got the. It's interesting they've got the Manipal and Bukalata run from New Fifty Two. That actually was a good run. I like that run. Um, That's that, probably they, a good one to recommend. That. Is that one? Yeah. And then the and the then rebirth you... stuff was actually pretty good too. I mm -hmm. thought was was pretty decent. Um, Flash I don't know. I, I don't. I haven't read that one on the left. I don't know what that one is. That's that the. Like that's just. That's the like um, early two thousands. No, 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 no. Maybe? It's a tie-in. It's a tie-in series for the movie. It's the oh really the, you know that that comic cover oh with that terrible where he's like naked I hate yeah that it's from that it's like put it clothes on like stop it please <laughs> bring back the code bring back the you're code not, you're not you're not Peter Parker just you should have had your costume bring you back the, the ring, comics code I don't want to see that I don't want to see that I don't want kids seeing that <laughs> um yeah so I mean at least we're getting some recommendations that you just. just that one on the left, they can just trash that. Um, they, are you sure that I guess that is their new symbol there because you got the symbol on the left and then it's the symbol on the comic too? Yeah, and oh yeah, it's winning. definitely the and, and you see it, the flash, the fastest man alive, official movie tie in. Yeah, the Bucalata run was really good because after they like got off one. of after they got off Flash, they actually did some stuff on Detective. And it was like, wow, Batman's actually being a detective in detective. And then you know who followed that run up? Mariko Tamaki, everybody. <laughs> yeah. I, I I have like, I was like, yeah, this is actually like, he's actually being a detective, which um, for the most part, you don't Never ever see, see him anymore. being <laughs> a detective at all anymore. So I actually really like that because he was like having to piece together what was going like a, a criminal conspiracy and, and figure it out. Uh, and it was, uh, it was actually pretty good. Uh, Twilight says the nostalgia thing is getting old. It was cool in Spider-Man No Way Home. Now it's boring. I mean, I, yeah. Um, I might I, even I'm, say I, it was a little tired for No Way Home, even though I loved it. I even think then it was a little yeah. like, okay, guys, we're, we're referencing a little too hard right now. <laughs> yeah, I know we were criticizing that. Um, we crit I criticized that. We all criticized that, I feel like, when that was coming out. It's like, wow, there's mm -hmm. like, a lot of... So, but at the same time, like that nostalgia was also from like some of the best superhero stuff we've got. Yeah. It literally, like those first two Spider-Man movies are still, I think, leagues Put above most of the MCU archive. stuff. They're still like that second one is so good with uh, Doc Ock and Otto Octavius. Man, that's just this. That's a really good Spider-Man movie. It's got the best uh, Spider-Man fight, which is the Clock Tower one. Like when yeah, the, when the uh, arm falls and he catches it, wings it back. But then where does it I go? Like, <laughs> yeah, that's the bank robbery, right? Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that one, that's like absolutely phenomenal um, fight fight sequence there. Um, Mr. Fusion says that ad is out of date. Mm -hmm. Comic shops and bookstores don't exist in most places. <laughs> <laughs> oh, true. Get it on Amazon now, I guess. Um, DC.com, The Flash, okay. 
can't get comicsology's <laughs> over. <laughs> yeah. Bayona says anyone think the flash film might be another box office flop. Yeah, I actually do. We know they spent a ton of money on this, lots of reshoots. This movie has been delayed, I don't know how many, like I think at least two years. Like this film has been completed time. for multiple years, and then they've gone back and done more reshoots and and like a ton of stuff. So yeah, I, I definitely think that this movie is going to uh be they're gonna lose money on this film. Uh, but they are Def- definitely, they'll definitely putting lose all their money. They're definitely putting all their chips into this. Uh, you can tell that their marketing campaign is way... They were spending a lot more money on this than they did on Shazam. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I actually was telling Spencer the other day, I hope this film does worse than Shazam. Uh, but I don't think it is just because of the marketing spend they're putting on it. And you have Keaton. I do think Keaton will bring yeah. people in. But uh, I don't know. Like, it just... I don't know. They're, what it, like I don't know. They just... It doesn't. There's nothing here that really like jumps out at me that makes me want to go see this. Um, Especially knowing like the, the, everything the best we thing know. is Batfleck, right? And it's like he's only in it for five minutes, and it's like, well, <laughs> I'm not going to go see that for five clip minutes. It, no thanks. Put, clip like, it. Put it on YouTube. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I bet you, like Warner Brothers, after the movie leaves theaters, will clip that and use that on their like YouTube yeah. channel to promote the film. Like, here's the fight, Probably. or here's Batfleck Flash on yeah. Blu-ray, eight twenty nine or whatever. What's crazy too. Is that not only is he in this film, but then he's like, he has that interview where he's like, yeah, I don't want to do anything with James Gunn. I don't like their vision at all. <laughs> like, he's just like, this stuff sucks. Like, I don't want to be part that of that. I don't like what funny. they're doing. Um, so, yeah. And Sailor Mercury says, not sure about Aquaman 2. I, like, absolutely not. The first one was so Nothing in it mediocre. Me. Uh, I still don't understand. I mean, I guess I can... I get like a lot of women went to see it because it's Momoa, I guess, but I don't know. Like, I hate that Aquaman character because it's not Aquaman. Like, oh, that's another thing. That's another Zack Snyder total miss. Oh was, yeah, uh, I, oh, I totally Aquaman thought we hit casting. it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because he like makes him into like a surf. He's literally playing Momoa the surfer bro instead of Aquaman. Heavy is the man who wears the crown. Like uh, when you I, guys I can't stand that character. Like when you guys and I know some Aquaman. of you will go see Fast Ten. Watch Momoa's character in that; it's going to be the exact same character as his Aquaman, and that's going to be the problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. I mean, he plays the same. I mean, does he? Pl- I mean, well, I mean, like in the trailer, plays the same him, character like, all the time. He's like, yeah, like exactly. He's like being like the party bro antagonist. Like, come on, I'm the bad, blah, blah, blah. and it's just like, yeah. All right, Twilight Momoa. is right. He should be playing Lobo because that fits his that's person, like his perfect own, person, casting. personality yeah because he doesn't actually have to change who he is <laughs> like that's who he plays i think the only thing i've seen him in where he doesn't play like the bro guys i guess like cal drogo i was just game about to thrones. say game of thrones where he doesn't talk <laughs> and then yeah and then there's like this apple tv where he plays a blind man um what like, <laughs> yeah it's called c and like I, everyone's I, blind but like this it. one person yeah i it's some kind of like post-apocalyptic thing. I watched like a couple inter- episodes yeah, of it. It was, a it was okay. interesting premise. Yeah, that's I don't know. Just imagining Momoa as a blind person is very hilarious to me. <laughs> yeah, uh, the giant dude hey, trying to get around. Hey, it's me and HD says if the general audience sour on the all these films, uh, where do they go from here? I mean, I think the general audience already is. I mean, like I don't consider myself general audience. I consider myself like pretty like. Like I used to consider myself pretty dedicated until basically phase four and I like noped out and I didn't even go. She said, I liked the first Shazam. I didn't go see the second one. Cause it just looked terrible. Yeah, um, <laughs> like I, I, like I used to, I've, I've like noped out of this stuff and I consider myself like pretty like passionate about a lot of these properties. Uh- Obviously, and look where we think, work. All of us are. <laughs> yeah. If you think that like we're pretty passionate people about this stuff and we're noping out, like, I think the general audiences have already like been open out. And the biggest example is quantum mania's box office did not even do 500 million. It performed worse than every, so than awful. both Ant-Man and Ant-Man and the wasp without factoring in inflation. Like it did and, and you had so at the box much, office like, without inflation factoring. And in. they pushed like, they, they that's put how bad so it much into it. They, they put Jonathan yeah. majors next great best thing. They put Paul Rudd, like arguably the last star Avenger they have. They set up the next phase of the MCU and nobody cared. 
nobody cared. Yeah, I think, I mean, I don't, I think they'll just continue doubling down because I, I mean, oh, we haven't seen yeah. them change oh, course yeah. whatsoever. So you're asking, just to answer your question, where do they go oh, from yeah. here? They continue to double down. They continue to do it. I mean, look, we're getting James Gunn in like DCU. Like they made James Gunn the head of DCU. I mean, he had one like hit with Guardians. I don't think the second one was that great. Suicide Squad did not do well at the box office. Um, Maybe it did well for like the HBO Max. I don't know. We haven't really seen any numbers for that. Peacemakers, I guess, was kind of like average, I guess, for HBO Max. Probably. Uh, but yeah. I think that was also From like, what we it's, it also was like a very, to me, it looked like a very niche show for like, like people that are into his weird, quirky, like, John I don't Cena. know, quirky isn't the right word, but his, his James Gunn style humor. Uh, and I think people are just kind of over that stuff now. And I, I mean, maybe people are finally like wanting more serious stuff. I mean, I know I do. I like, I like, my, I like my superhero stuff to be a little bit more serious. I mean, as much as the boys is like super woke, the, it does seem to like actually take its universe seriously. Make fun of the magic. And, yeah. And the characters are like well, take themselves the seriously. Survival, but, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I watched, I only watched season one, but. I know, everything I know. I've seen, just everything I've relevant, seen, it's only kind it. of. Oh yeah, I mean, I wrote about it too. I wrote about his the. the no, no, no. I'm, I'm saying, saying I, I brought up the Queen Maeve thing just because I had just written about that. That's oh right, right, well, right, right. Well, I'm talking about like I, I wrote about that article. I wrote about another okay, part of yeah, that interview right, as well. Yeah, that's right. We, yeah, we, yeah. So two separate things. Yes, but like I mean, just looking at it from afar, it does look like it's still kind of trying to take itself seriously. There isn't a lot of like stupid quippy humor and stuff like that. <laughs> But yeah, I, I think they're just I just think they continue to double down um, until there's nothing left, uh, but they want to they'll still try and um, keep it. I mean, their whole goal is to like try and monopolize it so that you have to watch um, what it is. Yeah, the boys is, is 100 percent different from the comic. Mr. Fusion, 100 percent, 100 percent. Totally went like hard left after. Like, yeah. Episode three. Yeah. So. But yeah, I, I mean, I think you're going to see people. I mean, I'm already I mean. Like I, I know it's a black pill stream, but I've just got my uh, Siege of the Black Citadel Conan uh, novel Ooh. by Chuck Dixon. First of three novellas that he's writing a trilogy. Uh, I read the first 80 pages like in one sitting um, and I got it like earlier this week. So I haven't finished. It I'm yet, more surprised but, I mean, you just had time to read it, 80 pages in one sitting. <laughs> it goes by really quick. I mean, there's absolutely excellent. Um, that's action a good, sequence towards the beginning. That's a good review. Um, yeah, really, really fun um, stuff with Conan, and and he's doing all kinds of different things. Like he's he's being sneaky. He's bashing people in the head. He's uh, being br he's a bravado. He's I mean he's Conan. It is this is Conan, uh, and it, it's just really really good. Um, and I've been been uh, just there. There's stuff out there that people can can read, and they're gonna find stuff that is better, and and move to that.